Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with Able Cine, and today I am in the Pacific Northwest. It is sweltering hot outside, record high temperatures, and we are staying inside today, and I'm going to talk to you about this lens, the lightweight zoom from Zeiss, the 21-100. Now this is a relatively new lens to the market. It is very, very popular. I have been fortunate enough to shoot a couple of projects with it and also have had the lens for a couple of days. It's going out tomorrow to somewhere else. And what I want to do is talk to you about some of the things that I think are unique to the lens and also some of its features. And before I do that, I also want to recommend that you watch the Behind the Lens series with Matt Porwall, where he talks about, in a particular episode, how he uses this lens and how he sees this lens being used in documentary filmmaking. Now to me, this lens is an all-arounder. It's something that you can use for narrative work, for documentary work, for commercial work, for corporate projects. And it has this great focal range of 21 to 100 millimeters, which I think covers a lot of the stuff that we're doing in production. Some of the things that are unique for a Zeiss zoom, it is the first Zeiss zoom that has been created where they are focusing on and creating a lens that is for Super 35 and APS-C size sensors and smaller. Why? Well, we can get the lens to this size. It is incredibly lightweight at under four and a half pounds, 4.4 pounds. It is very, very compact. Still lots of lenses and elements inside of here. 11 blades, which makes for a great out of focus and bouquet. It is splash proof, it is par focal, it is geared standard 0.8 pitch, and very, very long travel pass and of course hard stops. Something that we can use in not only a traditional camera operator focus puller environment, but also for the one-man crew when you are handling this lens by yourself. For the focus ring here, we have a 294 degree travel path, great for focus pullers. We have a 100 degree travel path for the zoom, and we have a 48 degree travel path for the iris. This is a T2.9 to T22 lens. And one of the things that's really interesting about this lens is the way it handles when you change, because it is a variable aperture between 21 millimeters and 100 millimeters. Instead of the standard fall-offs that we see on a lot of zoom lenses, this particular lens actually ramps. So no matter where you start and end within that range there in terms of your zoom range, you will see a very, very gradual change in terms of your aperture changing. And quite honestly, when I'm using it in production and I'm going from a wider to a tighter focal length, I'm really not noticing that much. Very easy to fix in post if you needed to, but especially in documentary run and gun situations, I'm not seeing any problems at all with that, and I really love the way that it's handling it. So a couple of the other things for me that I really love about the lens is, first of all, focus breathing, or lack thereof. This lens not only is par focal, but the focus breathing is very, very minimal. So when you are racking focus, especially for narrative work, it fits. It is something that you can actually rely upon. I also like to supplement this focal range, 21 to 100, with a couple of other lenses. And because Zeiss lenses match in the different lens families, having something like an 18 millimeter Milvis and 135 millimeter Milvis lens would be a great companion set to this 21 to 100. The last part of the equation, which to me is probably the most important, and what makes this lens so versatile is the fact that it has an interchangeable lens mount. Right now we have it set up for EF mounts so we can use it with a slew of different cameras, but we can change it out. Here I have a PL mount, and why don't I go ahead and show you how we can change this from EF to PL mount. Okay, so we've got a T6 torque wrench, and the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and take off the, on opposite sides here, the EF mount itself. Okay, and that's the EF mount, so we've removed that. And now we have a spacer here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the spacer out, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that again on opposite sides. Okay, take that spacer off right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out this PL mount, and I'm gonna line that up. 
and that is in position. Great. And then I'm going to take these from the spacer, because there's eight in the spacer, and I'm going to start to put those in one by one. And also just a good recommendation once you're done doing this to make sure that you clean the lens. And we actually have this particular T6 torque wrench set to a 0.4 to make sure that it doesn't get over tightened on here. So that's also important. And there you have it. I've got a PL mount on this. Okay, so that's how easy it is to change the mounts on the lens. And we can adapt this to not only PL mount, but to MFT, micro four thirds. We can adapt it to E mount. We can adapt it to Nikon's F mount. So you can have this one lens and you can have these adapters here and you can quickly and easily change it to those other lens mounts, which makes this lens a very unique lens in terms of production. So that's a brief overview of the lightweight zoom 21 to 100 from Zeiss. Thanks for watching.